YouTube, this is SinK101, and I'm back with something you've been asking for for a while now, as all I've heard from you guys. i got plenty of messages and comments saying continue it, and so today we are doing the prized RPG Maker 2003 tutorial. Sorry if I scared you. Yeah, um, we're doing the RPG Maker 2003 tutorial again. I don't know how many of you did ask, but I did get quite a few people asking me. And I was going to start this back up, so let's just get right down to it, because I don't want to waste my time. Okay, so first, they're going to open RPG Maker Tutorial, of course. I don't know why I just exited it. But also, if you're running Windows Vista or 7, Windows 7 or Windows Vista, then you will need to go to Properties first. And wait for my slow computer. Go to compatibility and uh, run this program as an administrator. All right, mine wasn't done yet. I don't know why. Okay, then after that, you hit OK and start it up. Sorry, my computer's really slow. You gotta allow that, of course. I don't want to cancel it. All right, so um, now that we're in the actual program, I'm gonna make that big screen if you want, because that's how I like doing it. And now uh, I'm gonna give you a layout of what all these do. This is project allows you to create new project, open projects, close project, uh, and you don't want to use this tool with this program. It's create game disk. We're never gonna use it. And of course, Alt F4, which is also exit. Well, I mean, Alt F4 is the tag for it, but yeah, you know what I mean. That sounds stupid right now. Okay, map. You know, I better open it before we get into that one. Okay, so first, let's just start off easy. New project. Now, I'm going to name this YouTube project, YouTube Tutorial 1. Okay, and then YouTube Tutorial 1. Okay, the, the, the things these are. The directory name is basically when your game is stored in a folder. That's going to be the name of the folder. Uh, so that doesn't really matter too much. You can't use like colons and stuff like that though, I don't think, I don't know. And uh, the game name, on the other hand, is what the game will be named. I don't think anyone can see that. I think that's just for your own personal preference, I guess. When they open the game in the window, it'll say what the name of the game is. See, like right here, it'll say that on the game window. But anyway, let's get started. Hit OK, unless you want to save it to a different project path, which I usually just save it to the normal one, which would be in your program files on your C drive. C drive, program files, RPG 2003, and uh, if you wanted to, just to make it easier, there's a project folder that is not naturally selected, so you might want to do that too, and then hit OK. And as it goes, new project. Alright, so now that we have this new project, uh, this is our main map, it's a new map basically. Uh, I don't mess with this map though, because I always delete it because it's kind of pointless just being there. Okay, so I delete that map. Now, what we're gonna do is um, first this this over this is gonna be an overview. This is gonna be a first tutorial. It's gonna be a remake of my first one because my first one was horrible. It was, it was dreadful, man. Horrible. Okay, so let's give a layout of the buttons. Map. Save map. Revert to last save. This will basically like, if you make a map and you just made something that looks awesome, but you want to try something and you don't know how good it'll look. You can save the map, then do it. But then if you find out you don't like that change, you can hit revert to last save, and it will just delete everything you just did and go back to the last time you saved it. So that's pretty interesting. Editing mode. Lower layer, upper layer, and event layer. I will tell you what those are when we get into the mapping part, but they will also be on our toolbar as well, which is right up here. Okay, map zoom. All these just zoom into the map different ways. I'm going to give you a demonstration of them all. And also for those, here's the project buttons, uh, here's the map buttons, and the layer buttons, the zoom buttons, and then all this stuff right here, which I will tell you what all that is in just a moment. Now, um, in tools, we have the database, the resource manager, the listen to music, and event search. Now, listen to music doesn't literally mean you're going to be listening to music. That's actually, like, you can listen to that music, but it's mainly music for the game. Game is test play, full screen mode, and show title. Okay, now, on these two, when you do test play, you know what that does. It basically tests the game. But on show full screen, 
that decides if you want your game to be full screen or not. I usually don't for window just I put it in window just for testing. And the title, do you want your title screen to show? You can make it to show a blue screen and say start game or whatever, or you can actually make it show the title and play music. And then help, we got contents and about which do not work with this program because it was transferred over to the US or something, I don't know. Anyway, let's get started into the mapping portion. Okay, so we're gonna create a new map, which means oh yeah, I you gotta right click, hit new map. And then let's name this map one. Now this is the tile set you're gonna be working with. So it can be anything you want it to be. Uh, so you can be like a world map, a town, an inside map, a dungeon, or a ship. Now uh, I'm just going to show you a demonstration of a world map first. And uh, dimensions, whatever you want. I'm just going to put 32 by 28 because that fits my screen dimensions pretty well. It depends really on your resolution, but I just want to take up this whole box for you. You'll have to test with that. Uh, BGM, we'll get with that later into the maps when I actually start getting into showing you how to make a game and stuff. Encounter rate will also work with that later and all this later. We're just going to right now work with the mapping portion. Just ignore the rest of this for now. Just that. Okay, then OK. And it gives us a map made of water. Now, you can click anywhere on here. These are all tiles. You see here you can drag, whatever. Drag. But I'm going to go click on land. And uh, these right here. This is the magnifying glass which allows you to zoom out which is also these things right here see and the magnifying glass allows you to do that so that's pretty interesting and uh... next uh... the pencil tool pencil tool allows us to just scribble see this is kinda good for world maps because world maps are kinda random you know it should be anyway okay so scribble but now let's work with this one Whoa. I just covered it all up with a square. That is a square tool, which allows us to make things like this, but you don't want your game to be bland, so please don't put those in there, just random squares. It looks boring. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the circle tool, it's pretty obvious. I mean, if you want to make some kind of weird island like that. And, uh, finally, the bucket tool, which is that. Now, if you're wondering how I would do this, here's one tip I like to give you. If you do this, instead of having to come all the way back over to click on water, I still have land selected by the way, see, land, instead of going over there, right click on the water, so it's already on the map, and it selects water, but then you can right click on the grass, and place the grass back. Just a little tip, because I know a lot of people will tend to go back over here, when they can easily right click between tiles, like if I got a tree on here, that also works. Click, 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 there you go. So yeah, so anyway. That's pretty, that's pretty much the mapping. Oh, wait, I forgot something. I forgot. Okay. Now, with these pink tiles, what these will do, which we will get into what they do later, this is mainly for eventing type thing. I will show you what that is. I mean, that looks pretty bad. But, um, I'll get into that when we start doing parallax. But right now, we're not working with that. So, let's also do another really quick thing. Well, we're going to make an island. Just a little square island. It's boring. But now for the layer tools. What is that doing? It's changing the color. Now it's not meant to change the color. Now what it does is down here is the first layer, which is the ground layer, which you walk on. This blue one is the second layer in which there will be your buildings or stuff, but in the world map case, it'll be the towns and stuff. So you can click, and you can walk over these still due to tile set, but you can also make other things like... It's just a second layer with more objects and give the game style and stuff. Now in the bigger different maps, they will be buildings and things that you use. Now let's find a little thing. This is the event layer, which that's what the event is, but we're not going to get into that right now because this is just our basic overview. Alright, so. Okay, and so now that we got all that done, uh, pretty well, uh, we're going to gra get into some things and show you what everything does. Now, the database, this is where everything happens right here, basically. This is where your heroes are, your characters, all that, what's going to happen. The classes they can be, the, the skills they can use, the items you get, I mean. And then there's monsters, monster groups, attributes, conditions, animations, second animations, battle layout, terrain, tile set, string, system, system 2, and common event. Now, um, 
we won't get into any of this today. I've been, I know I'm saying that a lot, I'm sorry, but this tutorial is an overview, and so we're not going to really do any of this, but trust me, in the second tutorial, we will get into making a game, and we will finish a game, hopefully. Well, it won't be a big game, but it'll be a small one. Okay, well, anyway, besides all my blabber blabber, I don't know if I said that right, but anyway. Uh, okay, second, the uh, resource manager. This is where we can import custom resources. Like as if you said you went online and you found this cool character or if you drew your own and you're like, I want to put Cloud in my game, but Cloud doesn't come with this. Then you can import any character from anywhere in your computer, like just on here. Just import crap. Works for music, uh, movies. Movies are custom for this type of thing. I mean they're kinda of weird. I'll show you that. We don't I don't really work with movies in here though, but it's kinda of interesting. I mean, frames, game overs, tile sets, all that. Okay, next is the music manager. This is where you can like you can listen to random music if you wanted to. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this. Let's see if you can. Kind of lagging out since I'm recording, but that is the music. You can choose the music there, which is also for maps, which we will show you later. And then the event search. This is if you had um, if you like made an event called um, option one for some random reason. I don't know. Then you could come in here and look for the switch name, the event name itself. Uh, you can choose what map it's on too, and all that. But this is like if you you don't remember where you put an event, but you know that event is causing a problem, and you don't remember exactly where it's at. You just easily look it up in here, so it's pretty handy. I never really use it though, because I mean, usually I perfect my stuff when I'm doing it. Like I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I do like to like when I make a map, I test that map flawlessly, make sure it's flawless, just to make sure you know. And then the test game. Uh, first, before we test game, we will have to do this. Place party starting. And then we're going to do test. Save the map, yes, you always have to before you test play. Wait for this to pop up. Oh my gosh. See, the name of the game will pop up in the window. That's all I'm saying if you really care. And, uh, we do a game. I'm not saying new map. I'm not talking about new map. And then you got your game test here. And there you go. You've made your first thing in the game. And that is pretty much the basics of the RPG Maker right now, and I will get into more later. But that is a basic overview of what we're going to be working with, and in Tutorial 2, I will be showing you, we will get into mapping, I, I'm pretty sure. We're going to map our first place in the game, make our first place. So, as a rundown of what we're going to do, I'm going to try to make it to where the first tutorial will be mapping our first town or whatever. And what, after we map the first town, the third tutorial, we will get into eventing and stuff like that. Actually, wait, no, the first tutorial, I mean the second tutorial. Sorry, I'm playing this all out in my head right now. It's kind of all jumbly. I think I will do the database, because we have to work with the database first. But yes, we will do the, no, we'll do the mapping first. Okay, I don't know, we'll find something out, but I will do something in the next tutorial. But anyway, that is RPG Maker. I will not abandon it this time, I hope. So, guys, please bear with me. It is kind of hard to um, make these tutorials because I am limited on time with this stuff and things. And it, I just get complicated and everything. I can't think this all in my head at time. So, anyway, thanks for watching. And for all you people wondering, where did Sin K go? Where's his Grand Theft Auto tutorials? Where'd all, I mean, Grand Theft Auto tutorial, Grand Theft Auto playthrough videos? They are coming back, but I am having problems with Wii Game this time. I know it's not Grand Theft Auto's Wii game. Everything hates me. But yeah, I will get back into that too. And also, if you watch my life channel, that's kind of dead. I'm going to try to start that back up, but I don't know. But anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave your comments. If you have any questions, send me a message. Send me a friend request. I'll friend you. Why not? Uh, please rate the video if you want to. It would be kind of cool to know how I'm doing. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you think. And uh, subscribe if you like my videos. And I ask you to, but you can. It would be very nice. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out!